Welcome to Encounter, where we celebrate putting faith into action and community leaders who live out compassion, grace, and love. We're a program of the Broome County Council of Churches that addresses food insecurity through chow and the Greater Good Grocery, provides hospital and jail ministry, builds wheelchair ramps, and assists neighbors with transportation and shopping services through Faith in Action volunteers. We invite you to the conversation, encounter your neighbors as we learn to walk together in love and kindness. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Encounter Program, sponsored by the Broome County Council of Churches. I'm your host this morning, Mark Kimpland, the pastor at the Endwell United Methodist Church. One of the things I love about being a host of this amazing program is spending time with colleagues, friends, brothers and sisters in ministry, and learning from them and hearing their stories and uh, sharing our ministries mm -hmm. together. And we have one such occasion on mm -hmm. this show that I am excited to share with you because our guest today is the Reverend Nancy Adams. She is the pastor of the Owego United Methodist Church and uh, no stranger to this area and uh, the impact that you've made. And so I'd like Correct. to welcome you to the Encounter Program. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's start, uh, let's start here. I can't imagine people uh, that are either watching or hearing haven't uh, either don't know you or haven't heard about you. Um, but with that as a backdrop, uh, can you tell us a little bit about Nancy Adams? Uh, kind of your background, your history, childhood, wherever wow, you want to okay. take that. Um, um, well, please. Um, preacher's kid. Mm -hmm. So uh, that says a lot. Right, right. <laughs> um, and moved around some not, mm -hmm. not a whole lot but uh fortunately but um i i think it it gave me an appreciation and a special um uh place in my heart for new kids on the block mm. you know and, and I, yeah. you know because because i was the new kid on the block yes. and so appreciated people welcoming me and so like I said, I have a special place in my heart for new sure. kids on the block that I always want to make sure they feel welcome. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, whether they're, you know, it's an adult <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, or, or a youth or a child, I just always want to make them feel welcome. Right, right. So, yeah. And um, so grew up as a, as a preacher's kid, so never dreamed I'd be a pastor in a million years, didn't want to be a pastor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. knew the life, Yeah, yeah. wanted no part of it, mm -hmm. um, and yet God had other plans. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what yeah. was that journey like then uh, as you're growing up in your youth and then, uh, you know, young adult years and such things, so what, uh, what, what were that... What, what was that made of um, prior to uh, answering your call that we'll talk about well, in a minute? So, so I was always involved in the church. Yes. You know, I had perfect attendance in Sunday school and yeah. I sang in the choir yeah. and I was president of the youth group and, mm -hmm. I, you know, I was yeah. very involved and, and I liked it. Yeah. Um, but I never, ever dreamed about being a pastor, never yeah. had any desire to do so, never, you know, um, I don't remember, it was, uh, you know, student day, and, and um, where, where the, you know, college yes. students kind of took over the yes. service, yep. and, and, yep. and stuff, and I, I ended up saying I'd share, and I was like, what just came out of my mouth? Yeah. And, and my father looked at me like, what? Because <laughs> it surprised him too. Yeah. And, and, and another girl uh, said she would. So we shared that time and my knees were knocking the whole time. And, you know, I got through it and uh, it amazed me though. I think that was the first time I realized that two people can preach on the same passage and it comes out just so very differently. Absolutely. And yeah. we yeah. compared notes and it wasn't even close to being the same. <laughs> That's great. And it was great. It That's was. The Holy it Spirit, was. Right? It, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think that was the first time I really realized that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I thought, oh, this preaching thing's not for me. That's okay. not, you know. Okay. And, 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 and yet. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. Now, I love to preach. Yes. Yeah. I love to preach yeah. now. 
So. I, I appreciate you sharing that because my journey is very similar. It was uh, College Student Sunday, mm -hmm. and the yes came out of my mouth, and uh, I did that for three years, and that really kind of confirmed mm, the call okay. and such things. So we, yeah, we have okay. similar similar experiences, okay. but somewhere in there. Um, from your childhood and youth and young adult years and, and doing that college uh, Sunday experience, um, the call somehow became uh, something you could not avoid. Um, oh, could you share uh, sure. your experience on that? Sure. So yeah. um, I was in this area. Mm -hmm. um, I, I uh, became a special ed teacher out of college and I taught one year at Sierra Weeks Elementary School in the Windsor District and, and then five years at Kander High School. Oh. And, and I love teaching. I, sure. I just, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the kids. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I enjoy seeing progress made. Mm. And um, I, I could sit in all day and teach somebody to tie their shoe I that's yeah I could yeah. do that yeah and and love it yes, yes. and and yeah. um, uh, but um, I had uh, this gnawing in my heart that just mm -hmm. kind of developed I guess and I thought what is that you know and and yeah. I had had a music ministry with some uh, a couple of friends, but one in particular, and we, we would go around, we'd sing at, at nursing homes and and stuff, and sometimes, and with another friend, I would sing in church sometimes, and 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 that was great, and I, yeah. I loved that, and yeah. and and you know, I remember telling my dad, I said. If I don't share, I'm going to explode. Mm. And so he first en encouraged me to go to um, what we now call lay servant training, yeah. uh, which I did. And um, uh, talked, you know, a, f a few times in, in different churches, you know, went to, to preach. Uh, um, I think nothing much at all <laughs> in okay. the first year. And then... Yeah. Um, but then when invitations came, uh, and then people started telling me, wow, you should be a pastor. I'm like, mm. yeah, no, mm -mm, no. <laughs> I'm here to preach. No, 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 no. And and so I, you know, um, I should have known, but I yeah. didn't. Yeah. And so I had several times that happened. Yes, you know, Just yeah. people seeing that, John Wesley calls that the outer call. Yes. Yep. And I said, well, I'm not doing anything until I, I feel it. Yes. And then I was, um, uh, I said I was teaching in, mm -hmm. in Candor, and I was going to the McHenry Church in Candor at that okay. time. Yep. And um, it just, it got so bad that, mm. or, or I shouldn't say bad, intense, <laughs> that yeah. the, the gnawing got that so tension intense. tension between, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. That I said, I, I I called up my pastor one day, and I, it was a, it was a Sunday night, and and I called him up, and I said, he he answered, and I said, good, you're home, I'm coming over. I didn't say, is it a good time? <laughs> I didn't say, and I it was just, I'm on I, way. I yeah. said, yeah. I got it. What what yeah. can I do? Yeah, and yes, and because he, he had already had this conversation with me and I said she right because it was clear to him that sure, God sure, was calling sure, me sure. toward in ministry and yeah. and he, he you know I had a conversation with him about Sunday school or something and he said want to talk about steps into ordained ministry and I'm like yeah no <laughs> and he said sit down I'm not done talking to you uh, and I was like whoa and it was so clear to him yes. and I was like yeah yes. no and then it wasn't too long after that that okay. I I called him and I said, I, I, I got to find out. And so, you know, he got me the Christian is minister yeah, book Christian and, is and, and, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. uh, we, you know, I started the, the candidacy yes. process and, and, um, you know, by this time my father had died. Okay. So, so, um, 
you know, when my, my family was like, you don't have to do this for dad. Right, right, okay, yeah. And yeah. very loving, well-meaning, yeah, sure. And of course. And yeah. I said, I couldn't possibly. Mm -hmm. And they tried to talk me out of it in every way they could, um, lovingly. Yes. And when they realized they couldn't, they realized it was real. There you go. And have been behind me 100%. Yes, yes, yeah. Ever since. So, so, so there is that so. time in your life that was the defining moment where the tension and the, you know, back and forth and all of that that eventually had to go to the, yeah, take that step. Right, yeah. and, and what happened was um, when I finally said, all right. <laughs> all right already. <laughs> <laughs> that gnawing that had been there for a year and a half, yeah. gone. Yes, yeah. And that piece has been there ever since. Yes. So, yeah. so that's awesome. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, I had every excuse in the book. I had sure. teachings, my ministry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not articulate. I'm not, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, I had every excuse in the book. Yeah. And they all just yeah. went down the drain. Yeah, but the call it does, and doesn't it? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Friends, I am thrilled to have as our guest on the Encounter program today the Reverend Nancy Adams, who is the pastor at the Owego United Methodist Church. Um, so where have you been? Where, 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 uh, what your service record of sorts? Uh, it, it, can you kind of, uh, you, you make up your mind, you're in the candidacy so, process, you're, you're rocking and rolling, and you're moving forward and such things. So where did uh, where right. God call so, you? Right, so... Um, I went to seminary at uh, Drew University Theological okay. School mm -hmm. in Madison, New Jersey. Yep. I graduated in 1990 mm -hmm. and then was appointed to the Northern Otsego Cooperative Parish on the Oneana District mm -hmm. of the Old Wyoming Conference um, and served uh, the Hartwick and Mount Vision United Methodist Churches and the West Lawrence Community Church. And I was there for five years and loved it, and those people were long-suffering. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our first appointments usually are. <laughs> um, and, and yet, they usually got, you know, rookie sure. pastors, yeah. and they actually took that as a ministry, yes. and, which is awesome. It is, it that is. Was, that was amazing. Yes, So yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I love that, I love them. Yeah. And, um, and then phone rang one day, I wasn't expecting it, and was being appointed to be the associate at the Anwell United Anwell Methodist, Methodist Church. Church. <laughs> so, there you go. Yes. Um, and was there for two years, mm -hmm. and then went to um, uh, Park Terrace mm -hmm. over in Appalachian, and, um, and for six years. And then I was pointed down outside of uh, Clark Summit. Uh, for four years on the Scranton district at, at um, director of uh, Christians United Together Cooperative Parish and pastor at Bethel and Ransom outside of mm -hmm. Clark Summit and then the phone rang one day <laughs> and I was appointed to the Newark Valley First United Methodist Church was there for seven years yes. and uh, uh, loved it, yeah. and, and yeah. I I've loved everywhere. Let me just oh, say that awesome. I just that's great. Um, yeah. I've loved the people everywhere. Yes, it's been wonderful, and and then while I was at Newark Valley, the phone rang one day, and I about dropped the phone because it was the bishop telling mm -hmm. or inviting me to to be a district superintendent, and like I said, I just about dropped the phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Never. Yeah. I, if you think I never thought I was going to be a pastor, there's no way I was <laughs> ever going to be a DS. A DS. <laughs> uh, that was just, yeah, not, not going to happen. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. Um, ended up being a, a superintendent of the Mountain View District for six years, which is out Elmira Corning mm -hmm. way. And then, um, and then circumstances were that somebody was needed to come to Binghamton and Oneonta and I felt God calling me clearly mm, to that okay. and I 
knew the bishop well enough to know if he had had a different idea, he would have said sure. something, and sure. he didn't. So <laughs> I knew it was only for two years because yes. you yeah. can only serve eight continuous yeah. years yeah. as a superintendent. Yes. Um, but God was calling me to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so I did that. Um, and then in uh, July of 2022, I was appointed to Owego. And that's where I am now. I love it. I just feel so called there. Awesome. Um, awesome. And yeah, God is good. Yeah. Oh, God is good. All the time. So. Friends, Reverend Nancy Adams is our guest today, and she is the pastor at the Owego United Methodist Church. Um, in, a, in the beginning of our time together, you talked about um, being a PK, but it right. goes a little bit deeper than that. It um, does. It, it, you've got some generational <laughs> layers here now, don't you? Uh, I you, do. Could you speak to that for a moment? Sure. Um, my, it, like I said, I was a preacher's kid, so my dad was a pastor, yep. but my grandfather was a pastor and my great-grandfather was Amazing. a pastor, so I'm the fourth generation. And once I was ordained elder, um, then I have uh, I put all, I have all eight ordination certificates on my wall in my office at home, and they span 1900 to 1992. That's amazing. And, um, That's amazing. So my wow. great-grandfather was Walter Adams. He served, I think, mostly uh, what we would call the Oneana District. Mm -hmm. um, my grandfather, Charles Adams, uh, served... Um, in the Oneana district, but also uh, served Kander, <laughs> okay. where, oh, wow. where I taught wow. in wow. high school. Yeah. So, um, and um, but my and and when I got to my first appointment, um, Hartwick Mount Vision in West Lawrence, I found out my grandfather served Hartwick from 1913 to 1917. So wow. that was just, you can't make that up. I, no, <laughs> no, and and so. Wow. Um, but that was that was amazing. Yes, yes. And uh, and then, um, and then my my father uh, served um, for many years, um, and he was also the Binghamton district superintendent yeah. for three years. Yeah. He, 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 only, yeah. he stayed three because he just he missed the the local church so much. Yes. And, yeah. And uh, um, and so. Uh, you know, he served a fair view in Binghamton mm -hmm. while, while I was in high school. And then um, um, uh, First United Methodist Church in Endicott. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, so mostly around this area. But I was born in Sayre. He, okay. he, he served Sayre yeah. when I was born. Yeah. Um, but his first appointment was uh, Nimmonsburg and Itasca. Amazing. And, uh, so, Amazing. Uh, so he was around this area as yeah, well. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we were down in the Wilkesbury area for a little bit. Okay. But, but uh, yeah, so um, uh, I have that, I, I cherish that legacy. Oh, sure. Yes, yeah, generational that. witnessing. Wow, so, that's amazing. Yeah. That's um, amazing. And, uh, you know, isn't that just like God? I mean, yeah. you know, call, yeah. calling four generations yeah. in a row. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. And, yes. and uh, yeah. Yeah. And how exciting baptisms are around that, you know, when they know that you're performing uh, mm -hmm. generational baptisms, you know, and the great grandparents and the grandparents and the parents and, you know, yeah. wow, that's just, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's heartwarming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It, speaking of baptism, mm -hmm. when I went to Hartwick, my first appointment and I had my first baptism, there was not a freestanding baptismal font. Okay. So I had. You know, someone said, oh, there's a bowl in the storage room. I'm like, there's a bowl in the storage room? The storage room. <laughs> okay. So I went into the storage the room. And I, yours. And, I, and I, you know, I opened this box and I found a, there was a velvet pouch. And I thought, oh, maybe I hit pay dirt. And I pulled it out and it was this beautiful silver mm. bowl. And the engraving on the the baptismal bowl said, given by W.M. Adams, M.D. That was my grandfather's brother. Oh, my. And, and I just, I went nuts, Oh, right? my, oh, my, and, yes. And, um, wow. And then in 2020, um, sadly, the Hartwick 
church closed, mm -hmm. um, and Mount Vision as well. Mm -hmm. um, and because I was superintendent of the Binghamton and Oneana districts, I had to preside over that oh, wow. uh, closing, which was kind sure. of sure. You know, uh, the people there said it was kind of bittersweet. I, they yes. they were they were happy it was me presiding over it sure. because they knew sure. me. Sure. Sure. But yeah. yeah. Um, and when a church closes, of course, you have to um, empty the mm -hmm. church of all of the mm -hmm. furnishings. And they gave me that mm -hmm. baptismal. I was hoping and that's I, where the story I, was I going. I cried. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so I, I yeah, have that yeah, now, yeah. and uh, it's proudly displayed wow. in my yeah, home. So. Yeah. Which brings us so, to this moment, uh, yes. the being the pastor of the Illegal yes. United Methodist Church. Yes. Um, uh, Anything you want to share about that ministry or? Uh, oh, yeah. To, to, I, go ahead. Um, first of all, I love Owego. Yes. I am so blessed good, good. to be the pastor there yes. um, and have just a real strong sense of calling yes. that, that God yeah. has called me there. Um, and so, yeah, we, we're, um, we're, we're trying to uh, reach out into the community. Mm -hmm. um, especially into the neighborhood yeah. around the church. Mm -hmm. And um, so for years, uh, they've had um, a Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, and um, I think this year we served, I think between four and 500 people. Wow, that's amazing. And, um, and it's free. I mean, yeah. if yeah. people want to give a donation, they can, but sure. it's not yeah. necessary. We just want to make sure people are fed. Yes. And... Um, Lots of, um, we had a lot of drive through. It was drive through mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, eat in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um, uh, it was just amazing. That's, that's and great. and you know, and people are amazing. People would call the church. Go, can I come and help? Hmm. And that, yes, 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 you can. Yes, 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 yes you can. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes yeah. that would be fine. Yeah. And and so. Yeah, because um, things are happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know. So yeah. so, but we had a. Um, uh, last summer, for the first time, we had a, an ice cream social in the parking lot, um, and that was just for, for the neighborhood. Right, right. And I was thrilled because two people got out of one car, and they were the only ones who drove. Everybody else walked, and oh, that's, I was that so yeah, happy. Yeah, and then, yeah. you know, and then we had some of our, our Sunday school kids in charge of handing out flyers going, hey, Sunday school's starting yes, in September, and, yes, you know, and, and, yes. and um, just trying to reach out in, yeah, in that yeah, way. And, yeah. and, and just letting people know, you know, with every scoop of ice cream, it was, Jesus loves you. There you go. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. why are you doing this? Because Jesus loves you. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? Yes. Um, yeah. And, and it was wonderful. And one of the other blessings was, we had way more help than we needed. There you, yeah, there you go. We, it yep. was like, yes, yeah. It doesn't happen a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it, a true, blessing true, when it does. True, true. Yeah. So we had yeah. we had that wonderful time, and then, um, and we did a trunk or treat mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. uh, before Halloween, obviously, mm -hmm. and it was a it was a cold rainy day, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. but. Um, we got about half the people. We, we probably had 50 at the ice cream social. I was mm -hmm. thrilled Great. with that. Great. Um, and then we probably had like 25 sure. at, at the trunk yeah. or treat. It was yeah. like a cold, rainy yeah. Sunday yeah. afternoon. <laughs> yes, yes. But it was yeah. okay. Yeah. And, and, um, and then um, the second Saturday of every month, there is a breakfast. Um, and, and again, it's free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I was just thrilled because um, we have a, a blessing box on, okay. the, on the porch of the Wesley House, which is our office, mm -hmm. where our offices are. And uh, somebody had the idea of putting in like tickets for like free breakfast. Uh, in there that yeah. people could get. Not, no one's used them yet. I mean, you don't need one right, right. to get in, but right. we just wanted to make yes. sure they knew about the breakfast. Yes, and, and yes, yeah. 
and uh, yeah. so if, if, like I said, if, if people want to donate, they can, but they don't right. have to. Right. And, right. and right. that's the second Saturday of every month. Awesome. So, so um, you know, we really want people to know they're welcome and they're yeah. fed. And, and your worship yeah. times are? Worship uh, is at, at 10.30 on mm -hmm. Sunday mornings. We have okay. uh, Sunday school for uh, pre-K through sixth grade. Uh, at 9:30, okay. and then yeah. and then worship at 10:30, yes. and and all are welcome. There you go. Yes. Always. There you go. Always, all are welcome. Yeah. Um, and so um, you know, and and you know, there's always room for continued improvement. Or <laughs> so we we you know. Yeah. Uh, yep. Got a lot of things we're we're working on. Yes. But yeah. Um, yeah. God is good, and and uh, we've got. You know, so, some new folks coming, and good, good. Um, got good. some baptisms coming up, and so awesome. I'm just really, really uh, so blessed. Yeah. so blessed yeah. to well, be there. Yeah, and and blessed by your leadership. So, well, thank um, you. Thank we you. have a, uh, just a, a few more minutes left. Sure. Um, might I ask this question? Um, what do you see as the church's biggest challenge? in this modern generation. Hmm. Um, I, I, I know we've only got about a minute and a half left. Uh, so I thought I'd save a doozy for the sure, end. Sure, thanks, um, yeah. What, 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 do you, what do you see as the church's biggest wow. uh, in, in about a minute or so? Hmm. Wow. I guess I would say um, trying to find ways to invite people into a relationship with Jesus that, you know, in, in, yeah. in a context that yeah. is meaningful yeah. for them. Yes. You know, yeah. I, I don't know how, um, yeah. you know, what, what, what works for one person might not work for another sure. person and yeah. it's, it, or, you know, what works for one age might not work for another age or, yeah. you know, um, yeah. And, and I, I, you know, I have, you know, I talk to people all the time who think they're no good pieces of dirt, yeah. and that's a lie. Right. That's a lie. Yes. <laughs> and and just trying to let them know that Jesus loves them. Yes. And yeah. In any way I can. <laughs> yeah. You know? And, and every, uh, we're such a diverse culture, right. and and people right. are at different places and spaces and right. and. and, and, and and maturity and experience mm -hmm. and right. all of that, yeah, right. yeah, um, and to find those ways to to reach out to them, yeah, from, yeah. with the, with the love of Jesus, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. I, yeah. I, I certainly certainly appreciate it. Um, I have enjoyed this time, and, and thank I, you. I, I, have I, too. I thank you. And um, uh, blessings upon the work that you're doing at the Owego United Methodist Church. Thank you. They are awesome folks, and we yes, uh, they are. we hold them in prayer and, and, and hold that. your ministry in prayer also. So thank you. I never decline prayer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> keep it keep it rolling. That's that, right. That, that That's is right. fantastic. Right. Brothers so and sisters, you. I am so glad that we have had the Reverend Nancy Adams uh, with us, the pastor at the Owego United Methodist Church, is our guest on the Encounter program. And my prayer for all of you as we move into this next week is that the joy and the peace and the hope of Easter continues to resonate mm -hmm. in your heart and spirits and to understand that Easter is not just a day of celebration, but it is a life commitment of being a disciple of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day, enjoy, and be kind to each other.